And you got to be patient with me, man. I'm a little bit of a dinosaur when it comes down to computers and stuff, bro. <laughs> you know, it's 12 o'clock out here. You my man. I stayed up for Thank you, Thank you, man. dog. I appreciate it, that. My phone was acting crazy. No bullshit, man. <laughs> hey, I was like, Kendall Gill had to call 1-800-UPSTAIRS for his wife. So I was like, I, I, bet, <laughs> I bet Brett man, needed some help. <laughs> oh, man, it's crazy, man. Yeah, man. So I, I appreciate you coming in, man. So what's been up? COVID, we got everything going on. You've been active on your social media. Man, I just been just just sucking in the world, man. Just trying to become a better person, Fred. Really, mm -hmm. man. I've been mm -hmm. meditating a lot. Uh spending I mean, a lot of time with my children. You know, my kids play football, basketball, and uh track season is coming up for um my daughter, man. She uh finished um number five in the country in the AAU Junior Olympics last year. So it gave me some time just to spend time with them. Mm -hmm. and, you know, just just doing some stuff, man. Uh Monday was my first day back in the gym, believe it or not. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. First day back in the gym, man. I went back in there with the uh Little Spanish kid that you met, Romeo Cruz. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it was my first day back in the gym. So um, that's just that, man. You know, just uh, it's nothing you can really get used to. I mean, in our lifetime, we've never seen anything like this, man. No, I it's nothing I can compare it to, man. Yeah, I, it's, uh, it's just it's something else, man. You know, mm -hmm. I uh, I don't know if I was right or wrong, but I let my kids see the George Floyd thing. Mm -hmm. Man, my daughter was crying, and I try to, you know how like when we watch fights, right? Yeah, I know you get it all the time. People say, "Well, rescore the fight." But I think that that's like a flawed concept because whoever you subconsciously want to win, you'll start finding rounds for that guy if you if you know what already happened and you like your initial impression of what happened is the most accurate thing. Sure. And, and when I saw the uh, when I let my daughter and my son see the George. Floyd thing, they're um eight and nine. Mm -hmm. They were both screaming, like, what do you do? Get mm -hmm. off of them. And I was just like, damn, you know, my wife was like, damn, I don't know if you should have, you know, because my daughter got like a little squeamish. And I was just like, I don't mm -hmm. know if I should have either. But, you know, I guess as a parent, it was just my call. I just kind of just, I still don't know if I should have let them see it. But it was just like, it was crazy. They heard me on the phone. Like, one mm -hmm. girl was like, I can't pay the rent because I can't get to the check cashing place. Mm. And I was just like, well, I won't charge you a late fee, but you know, you got to find somewhere. I can't, mm. you know, can't mm. go rent free. You know, it, it's yeah. just, it's interesting times, man. You know, just got uh, it, it. It's, uh, it beyond really interesting. I still have yet to watch it. And, and my son is five and, and I battle with that every day. Yeah, man. Uh, when do I begin these conversations? How old are your children? Five and two. Oh, see, mine's are eight and nine. Yeah, that's, no, I, I think that's a great age because yeah, it's you got to like, walk to the bus. You yeah, know, it's like, the bus stop. it's kind of, you know, I don't know, man. It was like, I still don't know if I did the right thing. I really don't. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's it was just, I don't know. As a parent, we always getting better. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, as time go on, I'll figure out if I did the right thing or not. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And um, it's just been a lot going on, man. You know, they saw the people camping out. Mm -hmm. So my daughter was actually like, where do they sleep, dad? What are they doing? And all this kind of, and I'm like, I'm trying to answer the best I can. How do they go to the bathroom? Mm -hmm. How do they wipe their butts? Mm -hmm. And she was asking like, you yeah. know, logical questions. You know, it may sound stupid, but it's not. You know what I mean? It was just, it's yeah. crazy here, man. I know it's probably crazy out of LA, but it's just, it's nuts here, man. Um, we, um, I take them downtown, mm. to, like see different stuff. And, uh, you know, we, uh, we've been training, you know, cause I, they haven't been able to have practice because of the social distancing. Sure. I just found out they have any summer Olympics. So we was, uh, we was in the city training at these Hills and I took them down to get some breakfast and they saw all of the, um, the black lives matter people on um going into the art museum mm -hmm. and they would just sleep outside on tents and they was just like what's going on like you know and my kids kind of i try to take them and see as much inner city stuff as i can you know I remember you told me when we were driving around you told me this exact yeah, same thing yeah, i tried to do that for them and it was just like it was kind of like deep to them they was just looking like damn really mm -hmm. and i said this is all because of the guy y'all saw on tv and they was like wow 
you know, and my son was like, you know, I hope that cop goes to jail. You know, and my daughter was just kind of just like in shock. So I don't know, man. It's just some deep times, man. You know, uh, it, it definitely is. And uh, I don't have an answer for that, man. I uh, I don't know when I take my son's. Uh, you about to make me cry. But I don't know when I take my son's optimism away. You know, like yeah, because you kind of you kind of strip them with the innocence when they the innocence, man. Yeah, man, you really do. You got to be like mm. it's just you definitely because and 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 I'm still torn because my kids still close the eyes when they see people kiss on TV. Yeah, yeah, like like they can't watch certain TV shows with me. My kids are kind of everybody thinks that their kids are like the best, but my kids are like innocent in mm-hmm. a certain kind of way. They don't they don't like know what certain like slang curse words is mm-hmm. and stuff that i knew when i was a kid and it's just it's just a different times man like you know uh, uh ding dong dixie you ring on people's doorbell and run <laughs> they don't know about all that kind of yeah thing. You yeah know? So it's just i don't know man and uh I, I definitely think i stripped the innocence a little bit mm-hmm. when they've seen the george floyd because that's the first thing like that that they've ever seen like mm-hmm. i wouldn't let them see tommy rice or anything like that that's too much <laughs> But um, I've let them see George Floyd and uh, their initial reaction was just like it was deep. It really was, man. So, you know, yeah, 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 that's the thing, because it's funny how, how you said you, you take them to the city to experience it. And it's crazy how environment plays such a huge role in that, because you, you, you're a blessed man financially. And so the normalcies that maybe you had as a child and definitely as I had in a child is not their normalcies. You understand my kids don't go by graffiti every other block or every block. They don't hear sirens every day and every block. You know what I mean? So it's just, I don't know how to integrate that in my kids. I'm, I've only been a father five years going into six. Yeah. I've only been one nine, man. <laughs> you know, let me tell you what's funny. Uh-huh. What Julie used to say, man, I didn't even think you could have kids. <laughs> And I was like, why? <laughs> and he was like, man, you like 34. This I'm 44 now. So at the time, he's like, you like 34? You don't have no kids. I'm like, man, that's like, what's wrong with you, man? I don't, yeah. don't want to have seven baby moms, man. I'm yeah. trying to keep my money in my pocket. Facts, facts. But, uh, you know, so you're right. Like, and you just get better as you learn, man. I just noticed it's different between a boy and a girl. Like, mm-hmm. my daughter's a little bit squeamish. Mm-hmm. My son, like, you know, he's cool. Like, we see homeless people. He, like, gets on the subway. He's cool. Uh-huh. He, I ain't going to say he's a gangster, but he not, like, a, a squeamish little guy. But my daughter's, sure. like, grabbing me and stuff, and she, like, she don't want no parts of it. It kind of, mm-hmm. like, make her nerves a little bit bad. So, mm-hmm. you know, it's different. Um, You know, you got to – I treat them both individually, but mm-hmm. – I don't know, man. I'm uh, I, I've been talking to them about this because uh, mm-hmm. some cases I kind of detox from social media. I don't mm-hmm. really see everything that everybody else see. Fred, I stay out of the comment section. Right. I stay out. That stuff will lower your self esteem and kind of like yeah. black your mind. But uh, you know, the George Floyd case, it just you know, um, it just did something to me, man. You know, only maybe like three or four cases have done me like that. Mm. You know, Trayvon Martin did. Oh, Trayvon. Oh. Um, Tamir Rice did, you know, um, and uh, George George Floyd did. And Philando, um, Philando Castile did but for a different reason. Mm-hmm. And Sandra Bland did for a different reason. Those and- cases have, they like, it's, it's like, it like tangles my conscience a little bit. It do something to me. Where it just like it kind of like no matter how many times I watch it, and I can't watch George Floyd case often. I've only watched it maybe twice, but it kind of like um, I can't really ex- articulate it. But it like every time I watch it, I'm like screaming, trying to change what yeah. happened, even though I know the outcome. I'm like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And the Philando Castile case did that to me because I could see where that was going, and I could see he was just trying to show him his wallet, you know, and just talk to him. And you know the guy kind of put on the act of hurry up, you know. Uh, and he was nervous. Don't don't move, you know. And I could see Philando kind of like his um his senses was a little bit off. He didn't see what the guy was doing to him. Um, you know, in the Sandra Bland case, you know, I saw he was trying to bait that young lady. That that car stop was over with. You mm-hmm. know, he could have just let her go. I, as you can see, I I rememorized these cases. Uh, yeah. 
verbatim and that that car stop was over and and he was baiting that young lady and she was like a high strong young lady she had a um you know oh, her youtube channel was deep <laughs> she, yeah, she, you know, she, she was like she was like she was proud you know what i mean mm -hmm. and, and because that happened to me